Sunday time. We've got Sunday time. Uh, yeah, asking right. to move the crossword, I can never find it. Great, well bold, but how much of that first innings collapse for Pakistan suffered was down to the fact of that partnership between Broad and Jonathan Trott? Um, I think a lot of it is to do with that. Um, at lunchtime yesterday, the, the Pakistan top four would have all been mentally rehearsing batting. And, and the, the fact that they'll still be doing that five hours later has got to have a very negative effect on them. So I can't say enough about that partnership between Trotty and Brawley. That's, uh, that's what's got us in this position. And even given that, though, at 40 for three at T, could you have seen that coming or happen afterwards? Uh, no, I was quite excited at T because I saw the amount of spin there was. So I, I thought I might have a part to play. Um, no, you, you know, you, you hope you bowl teams out for as few as possible. It, if I'm being honest, I was thinking about 150. Um, so I'm obviously delighted to bowl that for what was it, 70 odd in the end, because um, it's it gave us two hours potentially to to get stuck into them in the second innings and um, get the four down at the close. Um, I think definitely puts us in the box seat. Did you did you think there was going to be that much spin before you had a bowl? No, I didn't. Um, it never really turns at Lords when I've bowled it before, but I never get this end because the seams always fight over it. So it was nice that I got this end. The wicket. It was maybe a little bit crusty, but it's still a very good batting surface. Um, the biggest thing for me was the ball that we, we were using. Um, sometimes you get a ball that's got a nice big seam on it, and that one did have. Um, and so that really helps. Um, I'm not ever making an excuse up for spin balls, but sometimes if you get a ball that's, that's not going to seem, you've not got much to work with. So uh, the trick is when you get one to, to, to make it work to your advantage. Are you confident? I mean, you've got five wickets so far in this innings. You haven't bowled too well here before, I, I think you've seen. Um, or it doesn't spin too much. Um, do you think you can get 10 and uh, carry on as you've been for, for the last um, 18 months or whatever? Well, to get 10 would be lovely. I've only ever done that once, so it would be delightful if I could do that. But um, I, I think tomorrow is going to be, uh, we're going to find it harder to, to get the wickets, to be honest. The sun will be out in the morning. Um, as it showed this morning, it's a very nice place to bat when the sun's out. Um, and a few of their guys will have a, a night to sleep on it and, and just mentally prepare to bat. So. It's going to be hard work tomorrow, of course. I'd love to take some more wickets. Um, I don't, I'm not sure where I've said I've never bowled well here before. No, I don't say that. But, um, I, I didn't bowl well against Bangladesh at the start of the year, but that was a flat wicket, so I'll let that one go. Um, no, I, I'd be delighted. It, uh, I know it's a cliche, but as long as we win, I really couldn't care less how many wickets I end up with. It would be nice to get on an honest board at some stage, but I'd, like, I'd prefer to do it the, the broad way and get my name in the back. <coughs> They didn't seem to be able to pick up those four balls off thing from the nursery end. Has that ever been an issue when you, you know, what was going on there? I've never faced Finney at that. Well, no, but, um, um, I think I think when you've got a, a guy who's very tall, it's obviously going to be very tricky to uh, uh, to, to pick up. Um, it just makes Broadies not look even better. We were 100 for seven, and, and you couldn't see it from one end. So as he's already <laughs> he's already told us that uh, by the time he tells his grandkids that story, it'll be the most remarkable knock in the history of cricket. <laughs> You've seen them um, abroad over many well, several years. Um, has he emerged a better cricketer than you ever thought he possible, or has his career gone? No, um, Broad is one of those guys from the very first time I played against him. He's got something special about him, and you knew he was going to have a very good uh, uh, England career. And he's he's only at, in the starting phase of his England career. He's going to play for a long time, and he's going to be uh, um, a fantastic asset to any captain uh, who uh, who does this team. Whether it be Strauss, uh, I don't know, in the future Swan maybe. Um, it will be it will be a great guy to have in your armoury. Have you officially given over the uh, number eight? No, I've not officially done it. I, I'm a, I'm a man about these things, and you know, I, I've only been there in the first place. To, so probably a bucket's ideas, so I can win it back. Uh, I think he's just about managed to get it back. Now. I can go back to enjoy my batting back at number nine, get rid of all the responsibility. There's three three times now in the series that Pakistan have, have got well, their three lowest scores ever against England. I mean. What do you put that down to as a, as a team that's bowling against them? What what what, what goes on when they start collapsing? Um, I think there's there's a number of factors this summer. It's been very <coughs> tricky to bat. The ball swung around corners for the first two Test matches, um, and so you can certainly put the first two low totals down to that. Uh, and again, this this Test match was nearly all down to that partnership. Um, when you fielded for six hours longer than you think you're going to, uh, that's very hard to go and bat there. And we had the perfect little break. Little session before tea, short session afterwards. Um, and, and once wickets start tumbling, as they have all summer, it can be very difficult to stop the rot. Um, it's proven that for both teams. Um, 
I don't think that you can read anything too deep into it. Um, the ball has definitely been the winner on most occasions this summer. You, um, you yourselves have stopped the rock with that partnership. I mean, what, yeah, what, we, what, we stopped what? it once, but we didn't manage to do it up until now. Um, True. You know, we, we, we had a, another collapse in this instance, which is something obviously we need to look at because that's not going to be good enough in, in Tesco going forward. You're not always going to have a world record partnership to bail you out. Um, but having said that, we can only play in the game we're playing in, and, and we're more than happy that we've got that world record partnership in this one. Sorry, presuming you win, do you think this is... Uh, this isn't the ideal preparation for the Ashes. Uh, how do you mean, sorry? Well, you know, if you're going to roll over Pakistan in a day, essentially, or a day and a half, would you have wanted to play stiffer opposition in your final test matches game into the Ashes? Uh, no, um, I think Pakistan are stiff opposition, as they showed in the last game. Um, <coughs> I think it'd be very arrogant and very out of place for us to turn around saying that we haven't had a stiff enough task this summer. We've had to play some very good cricket. Um, to get in the position we are, um, and I, I don't buy into it at all that Pakistan have been a weak team because their bowling attack, especially, is is one of the world's best, and that's that can only set us in good stead for the winter. Just just going back to that partnership, I mean, you you were the last guy to fall before the before it all turned around. I mean, as you went back into the dressing room, the 102 for seven. I mean, what were the sort of thoughts going around at that point? Because clearly things were were pretty pretty desperate. Um, well, there wasn't much being said, to be honest. Um, the change room was about as quiet as the long room when I walked back through it. So, um, obviously, you hope that someone can uh, can pull their finger out and, and support Trotty. Um, you don't expect them to pull their finger out to such an extent that they break all manner of world records and their own dad's batting records. So, um, it was one of those situations where it was almost a case of deja vu from last week that we'd uh, failed again with the bat. Uh, like I say, but we're, we're completely indebted to two guys bailing us out on the world record. I guess... It, after last week, nobody quite managed to do that. I mean, how important was it <coughs> for the team and proving the fight within the team that you did come out with that sort of response to that? Uh, I don't yeah. think that's that important. We know we've got fight within our team. We, we, we're not a team who rolls over and says, you know, we're there for the taking. So I don't think it was that important. Great. It was great for this game. But. Can you give us some idea, we don't see in the dressing room or anything, um, can you give us some idea of what it was like with Trot? And uh, Brody came back up at the end of their innings, and uh, what was the mood in the dressing room? And oh, it was, it was almost euphoric in there because obviously Brody got his hundred, and everyone was um, absolutely made up for it. And, and you know, Trotty is one of those characters who he's so lovable within the room because you're so glad he's on your team. And uh, for him to go out and bat like that, and, and just he's so obstinate when he bats, and you know he's not going to get out, he, he refuses to throw his wicket away. It's very reassuring to have him. Uh, and the two sat next to each other, and so it was nice to uh, to just have a beer to toast them. And uh, like we said, we didn't go overboard because we knew we had to turn up today and have a, a better, a, as good, if not better day. And uh, and it's turned out that way. You can't celebrate tonight, I suppose, can you? No, no, of course not. Um, you know, like I said, tomorrow the sun will be out, and it's never easy taking wickets at Lords. And it would be great if we could just roll through Pakistan's lower order like we did today. But we know that that's very hard very hard to do. So we're going to have to play some very good cricket um, to keep our standards up in this match. Okay, last one over here, thank you. Uh, Trot, uh, three months before you scored 226 against Bangladesh here, and this time you scored 184, which means Lord is lucky for you. Uh, it's certainly lucky for Jonathan Trot. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure he's, <laughs> he, you know, I'm sure he'd like to bat here every day for the rest of his life if he could. Um, and so would most batsmen to be fair, because it is one of the best places for batting in the world. The wicket's always flat, and it's the best ground ever. Thank you very much.